I'm Hal Hartley. I'm a film director. I'm here at Sundance, and uh, I'm talking to HP. Well, I'm here with my film Faye Grimm, uh, which is a kind of a, a farcical espionage movie uh, about this single mother from Queens who has to go to Europe and tangle with a bunch of spies uh, in order to look for her husband, who's been missing for seven years. Uh, his name is Henry Fool. And this is uh, part two, in fact, of a, of a film I made in 1997 called Henry Fool. Uh, although that's not important. If you're interested in seeing Faye Grimm, you don't need to have seen uh, Henry Fool at all. It could be fun, though. Hi, I'm Thomas J. Ryan. I play Henry Fool in Hal Hartley's Faye Grimm. Faye Grimm is the sequel to Henry Fool, which was a movie I made with Hal ten years ago. And uh, it's a sequel, but it's a completely different movie. And uh, whereas the first film was very much about the relationship between two guys, a garbage man and a strange, screwy poet, um, this movie is very much about the, the ex-wife of Henry Fool, played by Parker. Parker Posey and uh, Henry's disappeared at the end of the first film. Years have gone by and uh, Parker needs to find him so she goes off to Europe in a mad crazy search. It's sort of where's Waldo? <laughs> you know, And people constantly see him say I met him he's somewhere I saw him slip around the corner here and there and then we catch up with him and find out what he's been up to all these years. From my experience of watching it with some audiences it seems uh it's a movie very much about uh, how a lot of us Americans feel right now in the world. Uh, how, uh, you know, it has great fun and I hope some serious considerations of American foreign policy as well as the foreign policy of other nations. And, um, and it tries to craft, uh, you know, a correct but complicated image of of what uh, Americans go through now in the rest of the world, how uh, our awareness of how people see us, you know, whether they admire us or don't admire us. Um, yeah, it's a movie I made while I have been living outside the United States, and it's a little bit, uh, you know, there is definitely one part of me that wants to stand up for the country I come from, uh, but a lot of times I find that really difficult. And so illustrating that uh, complication, um, I'm hoping that that's what people take away from it. For me, the first film was the first time I ever acted in a film. So I was uh, nervous and needed a lot of guidance and was not unsure of what I was doing. And, you know, I, Hal and I got on very well and it turned out fine. but. This time, you know, it was sort of incredible to come back with the same actors and this director that I started with 10 years later. We're all much more, well, Hal was very assured at the time, but we're much more assured. And uh, James Urbaniak and I, who started together, you know, we're 10 years older, we're 10 years more assured at, at working in films. And so creatively, it was exciting to be atta attacking the same character and feel comfortable, know how to do it came very naturally, this character's second nature, and Hal knows exactly how to write for him, and, uh, and uh, I think we do him justice in this film. People who admired him in the first one won't be disappointed, I think. The most creative uh, high points, uh, I think, in a film like this are always centered around working with the actors. Uh, you know, I, people tell me, I read in the newspapers that I do something quite particular. <laughs> with my dialogue and the way that characters move. And I think uh, I'm reaching a stage in my career after doing this for 17, 18 years where I, I'm really quite clear on what I'm doing with the dialogue and the movement of the actors. And so almost always in this experience, the highlights were just achieving something graceful and unexpected, uh, funny and thoughtful with Parker and Tom Ryan or Jeff Goldblum or Saffron Burroughs, you know, actors who come from very different backgrounds uh, often, but they all seem to appreciate what I do with the dialogue and what I do with the, uh, the mise-en-scene, the, the moving characters around. I'm really touched by the fact that the movie's about this American, well-intentioned, kind, 
screwed up woman doing her very best to go out into the world that she doesn't know much about perhaps, but with a, a heart, good intentions, and a lot of drive. I think she represents probably a lot about what we hate about ourselves as Americans and love about ourselves as Americans, brash and headstrong and, and, and yet with perhaps our heart in the right place. That's, that's what I would say. That's what I love best about the film. I think it's what it represents.